Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jada and today I'm going to be recording another video for you guys. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing some contact lenses. As always, I'm just gonna jump right in. Okay, so I ordered these contacts from a website or a company called TTDI. This is how you spell it and this is also the box that everything that I ordered came in. It just says TTDI seeing different. It's a pink box, it's cute. The contacts that I ordered are in the shade Queen Brown and I did get the prescription contacts. In this eye, I think I'm like a 1.50 prescription and this one I'm a 1.0. The price of these contacts was $39. For a cosmetic lenses, that's not too bad. I've seen some contacts go up to like $200, but I know $40 is a little bit pricey. The contacts came with free shipping and I actually had a discount code. I'm gonna put that in the description box too. So with the discount code and free shipping, I ended up only paying $35. I ordered these contacts to wear on Halloween. Last year I ordered Hazel contacts, but of course they had dried out by now. So I was just looking at different websites to order from. And this is the one that I came across. They had a lot of reviews on YouTube, a lot of mixed reviews. So I just wanted to order them and see for myself what I thought about them. I wore them a couple other times just to get a feel for the contact lenses, but that's why I actually ordered them. So in a lot of the reviews that I was watching, a lot of people were saying that the contacts took a long time to get there or that the company said that their contacts had shipped but their contacts did not come soon after the company sent their shipping email. And I actually did have that same experience. I ordered the contacts and then like one day later I got an email saying that the contacts had shipped when in reality the contacts didn't get here for like another two or three weeks. To be specific, I actually ordered the contacts on October 8th and they got here on October 24th. So it wasn't three weeks, it was like a little bit over two weeks. They gave me the shipping information long before the contacts even got to me. Okay, so now I'm just gonna show you guys everything that actually came with the contacts. When I got the contacts, I was satisfied with the stuff that they sent me. I like the box that it came in. They put a lot of little extra gifts in here that I'm gonna show you guys. So they sent me this little this little pig, <laughs> my dog's looking. You want this? You see her? I probably won't have any use for this, so I'm just gonna give this to her. But they sent me this little pig, this little squeaky pig. I thought that was cute. Here, girl. Go tear that up. She destroys everything. They also sent me some instructions for the contacts. If you don't wear contact lenses, then this probably will be very helpful. They're very descriptive, very descriptive, very straightforward. They tell you how long you should wear the contacts, how you should handle them. Um, make sure you get, they tell you to make sure you get periodic eye inspections and stuff like that. They sent me, I really don't know. I really don't know what this is. It's like some glitter, some confetti or something. I don't know. Yeah, guys, I have no idea what this is, but it's like some type of blue glitter confetti stuff. Uh, I don't know if y'all can see it, but I mean, it was free. Thank you. It's cute. I'll figure out something to do with it. They sent me a cute little yellow hair clip. It's like a star hair clip. They sent me these temporary rose tattoos. Instructions on the back. By the way, like I said, I did pay for these contacts. So I like they didn't give you this stuff because they knew I was gonna be reviewing the contacts. They just sent it, I guess, because they wanted to. Then they sent me a little hand mirror. Carry that around with me. And it just says TTDI on the back. Hey girl. And they also sent me a little thank you card. It just says congratulations, honey. And it's a 10% off coupon for next time I ordered. It can be used five times. Oh wait, hold on. Okay, so basically I guess if you email them, they'll give you a code and if five people use that code, then you get a 10% off coupon. Okay. Then it says on here that there's a chance to win a $100 shopping speed voucher. Just follow them on Instagram and then there'll be more details and to hashtag them. Basically it's a little thank you card with some stuff on the back. They also sent me a contact case. So. I didn't use this one. I actually went to Walmart before the contacts even got here and bought a case because I wasn't sure if they were going to send me one. But I think that's really nice that they did because the last company I ordered my contacts from didn't send me any type of case. So I had to go and get all that stuff myself. I did have to go get some solution myself. They did not send me any contact solution. So they sent me the contact case. Y'all know, regular old contact case. And then they sent me this. I guess this is to put the contact in. I didn't even 
use this so i'm gonna try when i show you guys the contents of this video to use this and we will see together how good it works and they also gave me these tweezers to take them out with these scare me i don't know we're gonna try them but i think i'd rather just use my finger to be quite honest now to the part that we're all here to see i'm going to try on the contact lenses the actual lenses came in a case like this it just says td ttdi and this is my left eye, it says negative 1.0, and it has like the water content, thickness, base curve, diameter, structure model, um, and you can use them for 12 months. And this is for my left eye, and there's an identical one for my right eye, of course. Okay, so let's try and use this little device that they sent me. And like I said, these are in the color Queen Brown. Like I said, I am a contact wearer, and with these contacts, I'm not gonna lie, they were kind of hard to put in. It's like, normally when you put in a contact, no matter where you put it, you just look around a little bit. The contact lens will move to the middle of your eye, but with these, I was having trouble getting the lens to actually like get to the center of my eye. It kind of just wanted to stay down here where I put it in. But once I got them in, they were okay, like they felt fine, but just getting it to stay was a little bit tricky. Okay, I don't even know how to use this little um, machine they gave me, but we gonna learn together. So, okay, so I guess that, that don't look right. Okay, so I got the contact like on here. It's in the middle now. How I'm gonna get it to flip and stick to my eye, I have no idea, so let's see. Yeah, this isn't gonna work guys. I don't know what um, what they thought we were gonna do with that, <laughs> but it's not gonna work for me. Maybe y'all can figure it out, but I'm about to just do it the old fashioned way and put it in with my hands and hopefully I can use the tweezers to try and get it out maybe. I always wanna wash your hands before you deal with contact lenses also. So let me go wash my hands. So now that I have clean hands, I'm just gonna put my contact lens in like a regular contact lens. I wanna make sure that it's the right way. Um, the right way, the edges of the lenses will be folding up. If the edges are folding out, that means the contact needs to be flipped. All right, so now it's the right way. I really don't even need a mirror to do this, but since they sent me one. Okay, do y'all see how it doesn't wanna like go to the middle of my eye? It's like chilling, like just chilling, not in the middle. <laughs> and it does that every time I put it in. Okay. Let's try again. Oh, I'm crying, Lord. No. <laughs> Come on now, not my makeup. Okay, it is in. It is in. I'm gonna get closer and zoom in so you guys can see um like the eye with the contact compared to the one without. It covers the color completely. And once it did stick to my eye, it does stay. And once I get those initial tears out, I don't have any discomfort with these. They're really cute, I really like them. I like how they look. Especially if you're just going for like a subtle change, not something like blue or really bright, something that people know is not gonna be real. I really like these for that. Zoom in even more, just so y'all can really see like all my pores and everything. Yeah, so that should give you a pretty good look. Okay, so I finally have both of the contact lenses in. Normally, I take my non-color prescription contacts to class and I can literally put them in with no mirror, like just not with no problem, no struggling. These, I had to like use a mirror and really, really struggle to get them in. I don't know if that's because these are the color with prescription or if it's the same without prescription. Either way, they were pretty hard to put in. And I've had other non-prescription color contacts and I never had that problem. But now that they are in, they're not uncomfortable or anything. And they are very, very pretty. I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see once again. I love how they look. They just give like a very subtle change to your look. It's nothing too dramatic. And now that they're in, they're moving fine with my eyes. They're not sticking anywhere or anything like that. So this is how they look up close. And I'm gonna get even closer in case y'all want a really close look. That's how they look. I really, really like them. 
So if you were to ask me if I recommended these contacts or not, I would recommend them just because they're so cute, they're so pretty. They're pretty affordable and they do last for a year. So even though they're $40, that $40 is gonna last you 12 months, which is really not that bad when you think about it. Despite struggling to get them in, that's really the only con that I have. If I'm just wearing them on special occasions every now and again, then I would recommend them. I believe that's all that I have to say about these contact lenses. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. I'll also follow me on social media too at Beauty is Grace on everything, Twitter, Instagram. Be sure to comment, like, subscribe, do all of that stuff, and I'll see you guys in my next video.